What's up, Sagittarius? Happy birthday season to you. If you've never been here before, I'm so glad that you found me and I hope you don't lose me. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button to stay in touch. Um, everybody else, click the little bells and whistles, the fingers, all that good stuff. Be a friendly little YouTuber so I can feed my two babies. Single mom life is hard. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna do a little bit of how are they feeling currently. Gonna get a little look at what's going on with your person of interest, whoever is on your mind right now. If this reading resonates with you, this will be a short one. There is going to be a free, yes, free extended reading regarding this person that we're talking about right now. It is on my other channel. Make sure you subscribe over there as well. And that link will be in the description box below for you. Also, if you wanna book a personal reading, I am running a half off all readings specials, including my November year in advance 2023 spread. All right, so if you guys want to take advantage of that, that is good till the end of November. Email me at the address in the description box below, a southernstrega at gmail.com, and I'll let you know how to book one of those. All right, let's take a look at what's going on with your person. All right, Sag, let's get into it. What's going on with your person? Hope they're not acting a fool for your birthday season. That's the first thing. Well, no, first I'm gonna ask who um who we're dealing with. How would Sag know who they're dealing with? How would Sagittarius know who um we're dealing with today? <laughs> wow, that came out quick. The page of swords in the reverse. They were a liar. They also hid a bunch of things from you. Chariot in reverse. It didn't go anywhere. It ended badly. It ended ugly. Six of cups in reverse. You got a bad taste in your mouth from whoever this is. Nine of wands in reverse. You feel like you need to protect yourself from whoever this is. This is somebody you definitely went through it with. This is somebody you went through it with. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior, which implies you have been through a battle and you survived. You don't have good memory. Y'all don't have good, not good blood between the two of you right now. Um, what's the biggest thing we need to know about Sag's person right now? That was fast. Oh no, you're not going back in there. <laughs> All right, four of pentacles. The devil. Sag, what is this? And the knight of wands in the reverse. With the seven of swords, they're manipulative, Sag. First of all, this person is a liar. I can't stress that enough. They lie, they hide things. They also might have addiction problems or have, devil's always about addiction. And the knight of wands in the reverse is a fucking fool, all right? He just does reckless stuff. This person does reckless things. This person feeds devil energy all the time. They also are still keeping tabs on you. I read art for a reason. Look at this Four of Pentacles. There she is, Four of Pentacles, keeping to herself. She's got her lamb. She's got all of her stuff. But look at in the background here. Look at that creeper. You see that guy? Yeah. It looks more like the Four of Cups. Feeling like you're being ignored. But no, somebody's watching somebody. You also might be keeping tabs on this person. You feel this person's doing the most right now. They are doing the most. <laughs> this person is putting on a whole ass show and it's all a lie. I just want you to know that it's all a lie. This table's really empty, all right? This person's acting like they're going out partying and like doing whatever and they've got everything going for them and they've, you know, everything's good. First of all, Four of Pentacles is about keeping things in and not, not disclosing stuff. Devil energy is about lies. Knight of Wands in reverse is reckless behavior and like, un, you know, d bad moves. And then the Seven of Swords is about manipulation, deceit, lying, betrayal. There's nobody sitting at this person's table. This person has burned a lot of bridges and not just with you. They are a nightmare. What the hell are you dealing with, Sag? I'm going to ask next. How does Sag feel about this person? How 
How does Sag feel about this person? You better not like them. <laughs> I'm about to mommy you. I'm about to yell at you. <laughs> you, you better show me something here. <laughs> All right, I see some cup, ten of cups in reverse. With the king of pentacles. The four of pentacles. You still creep on them too. But you're mad as hell. They broke your heart, first of all. You also feel like in, they would just... I don't... Hold on. Let me get the rest of these out because this is a lot. There's the devil in the reverse. Do you feel like you can change this bad boy, Sag? The wheel of fortune? Okay. Hangman. You're waiting for them to get their shit together. That's how you feel about them. Queen of pentacles in the reverse. You got the queen and the king in reverse. I mean, queen and king. Um, king's upright. Queen's in reverse. What is this? The world... Queen of Swords in the reverse. This person, Sag, the way that you feel about this person is that they they fog your judgment. They cloud your judgment. You don't know whether or not what they say has is the complete truth or if it's a lie. You doubt everything they say to you. You definitely do not trust this person. But it, you're sitting here in the hangman position with the Wheel of Fortune you are trying to see everything from all angles. You're trying to get all the information about them. You want to understand why everything is going on. You want to know if they're dealing with whatever these demons are. You are definitely still spying on this person. You definitely still want to commit to this person or be in a relationship with this person, but they hurt you right now. You're desperately wanting them to deal. The devil came out again. That's two times. You might be dealing with a cat um, or Aries. I always say Aries is the devil. You definitely want that. You want to be free of this burden. You don't want to. You're a little obsessed with them. I'm going to say something, something about them. You don't trust them as far as you can throw them. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You also don't want to tell them about your feelings. You're showing up as two queens in the reverse. You, you don't understand what's going on here. You lie to yourself about wanting to be committed to them, but you like, there's something going on where you're not being truthful with yourself about what's going on here. You're trying to take control of this situation though <coughs> by distancing yourself, all right? The world is here, so you're not physically interacting with them. You're not communicating with them right now. But you're having this internal struggle and you keep fixating on them. You keep watching them. You're keeping tabs on them. You're waiting for something to happen. You're waiting on the wheel to come back around. You're waiting on them to deal with some kind of demon or to get rid of something. Let me get some more sad. This is a weird one. How does this person feel about Sagittarius emotionally? Like, what are their, their feels? Are they in love with them? Give me the lovey doveys. Are there any? How do they feel? Just got listen to your heart. That song in my head. Listen to your heart. When it's calling for you, listen to your heart. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going. Ace of Cups in the reverse. With the King of Wands, or Queen of Wands in the reverse. <laughs> With the Three of Pentacles. You hurt their feelings. Holy shit, there's the sun. That's crazy. How do they feel about you? Happiest card in the tarot. They also want your attention really bad and they're doing the most. Like I said, they're doing the most. Look, flex their muscles, doing whatever. They feel rejected by you. That's how they feel. Ace of Cups in reverse, that you reject, that you hurt their feelings. Queen of Wands in reverse, but they don't want to admit that. They're actually like a little spoiled child. They try to get your attention in the wrong way. Also, they're doing things to like bully you at the moment, I feel like. But really, you're the son to them. And the high priestess in the reverse, but their intuition will not let them say that. Seven of cups in the reverse, five of wands. 
they're trying to act like they don't care. They're trying to act like they don't see you. They're trying to act like you don't, you're not the end all be all. You're not the sun. They also don't want things to revolve around you. I don't know, I just got that. This person likes to be the center of attention. You might be dating an Aries. <laughs> They're, they're like, they react like a, a child though. When they get their feelings hurt, they don't have an adult conversation about it. They start trying to do get back, get back. But you make them happy. That's the happiest card in the tarot. It's the bottom of all of this. What's their next action towards Sagittarius? What's their next action towards Sagittarius? The world the six of cups in reverse to not revisit this to create some more bad memories knight of wands to run away from you queen of pentacles with the six of swords in reverse but they're not ever going to be able to forget about that wheel of fortune in reverse and they're going to regret it also fate's going to do something to put y'all back together this person tries to run and end this all right Y'all, this is a past life something. Six of Cups is like your past life soulmate card. That's like a, a karmic. This is definitely very karmic. I don't do twin flame bullshit on my channel. Sorry. Sorry. I feel like that's an unhealthy obsession. But this is definitely somebody you've known in a past life. And you guys had some karma that you needed to work out. And they're running from whatever that karma is. They're trying to end this and run. But something is going to force them to come back to that. And they know Queen of Pentacles upright here. That's internal. They know internally that something has to go down here. Six of swords in reverse. They're not going to be able to just act like nothing happened here, like water under the bridge. There's something that this person needs to deal with between the two of you, and they're running from whatever that is, and they're going to be running in circles. <laughs> All right. That's what I got for you, Sag. Happy birthday. If this resonated with you, please go check out the free extended or book a personal with your girl. I would love to do that for you. All right, Sagis. Love y'all. Bye.